Welcome back to All Real Estate, all the time with the only general contractor in town who wears a dress every day, Whitney Nicely. All right, so I left you with a little bit of a cliffhanger. Inside our Women Making Money in Real Estate Facebook group, we have a couple different events going on, and I am super excited about our November event because it is an overnight retreat. And it is a real retreat. Like we're gonna get some work done, we're gonna get some networking done, and we're gonna get some fun done. There's gonna be wine. <laughs> <laughs> and chocolate. Yes, and chocolate. <laughs> Y'all, we're going to Biltmore, and we're gonna stay at one of the hotels on the ground. We've rented a conference room. There's 20 ladies going, and we still have openings if you'd like to go. This is the Women Making Money in Real Estate summit if you want to or retreat call it whatever you want your ticket includes one night at the hotel on biltmore it includes a behind the scenes tour of biltmore we're doing a wine and dine on friday night and i'm having 20 ladies come so it's small it's intimate everybody should be able to actually meet people and have some meaningful conversations with the other ladies there making money in real estate like this is going to be the who's who of real estate. And it's not a realtor sponsored thing. It's not a club sponsored thing. It's anybody and everybody that is real, in real estate. You can be an agent, you can be a landlord, you can be a mortgage broker. I don't care as long as you're in real estate and making money. Now, the other thing that's really cool about it is the speakers that I have lined up coming to this event. I've got a real estate insurance agent so you can ask all those boring real estate insurance questions. I've got a uh, attorney coming from Atlanta who will teach you how to brand yourself legally and to trademark yourself and to build yourself up so that you are the next biggest thing to hit real estate, whether you're in Knoxville or anywhere across the southeast or the country i've got a lady coming from california and she flips million dollar houses like puts a million bucks down and then puts another million dollars in it and then makes a million dollars like that's what she does she doesn't have a tv show she's gorgeous she's fabulous at it and she's going to come lead an hour discussion on making even bigger money flipping houses than i've ever even dreamed of that's awesome then we have a lady coming from pennsylvania she's going to talk about how you can make 30 to 40 percent in your 401k or ira money instead of the six to eight percent that most people are going to promise you in that she's going to teach you how to put it into real estate and make a much larger return and i have a lady coming from north carolina and she teaches the confidence factor to women which is also going to tell you how to belly up to the bigger and better deals so you can make more money so you can have more free time and just have a happier life i mean the ladies that are going to speak are incredible another lady that's coming in is going to teach you how to you know <laughs> the title the working title we're working with is how to manipulate the banks for more money <laughs> <laughs> and i'll tell you that she flipped 38 houses last year Holy so cow. she totally has a system and a plan in, pay, in place and i can guarantee that she does the same thing on every house every time so that it works and she's always making money like this is going to be such an amazing 48 hours that you're going to be begging to do this every month like it's, it's absolutely incredible and all the details for that are inside the facebook group women making money in real estate uh, then at the end of october i have a book coming out and we're having a big launch party in atlanta then we're going to have another launch party in november here maybe my uh com combination birthday party awesome <laughs> so we'll talk more about that but if you're a lady making money in real estate or you want to be making money in real estate you really need to be in this facebook group women making money in real estate so we can encourage you so we can get that money rolling in so that we can help educate you and we can just be there when you have a bad day when you have a bad appraisal when you have you know you lose your cool in the deli section of food city because you got a bad phone call like we're there for you <laughs> i've been there i did that two weeks ago like it's cool we're in this together well and just the energy like when you are having a bad day or you're having you get up and you're having a hard time getting motivated for the day because it's not <laughs> like if you don't have if you're doing real estate full-time and you're not going to a regular job, you don't have that boss standing over you, mm -hmm. just going in the group and everybody's like, oh, I've got this deal, I'm doing this. It's infectious. It's just seeing everybody being active. It's so And great. it's that peer pressure. Oh yeah. And you start to make <laughs> friends in there and you see them on their regular page and it's the peer pressure of saying, she's killing it, I can do that too. Exactly. It's, it's absolutely awesome. So, all right, we got one more question for you. What's your last question? Okay, so let's say I have $100,000 that I want to invest. Whoa, you got 100 grand? Um, no, I don't. But let's say <laughs> let's say that I did or that I had, you know, private lenders or I had I have access to $100,000. What is the 
best way for me to invest that money? People ask me this all the time. I think this is, you know, the first question people ask me is, do I need a real estate license? And the second question they ask is, how much money do I need to get started? And then after we talk, they're like, okay, well, I've got 50 or 100 grand. And I'm like, great, I've got this place that we need to buy <laughs> so we can flip it. And what I really want you to understand is if you're not inundated, is that the right word, in real estate, if you're not just up to your neck in real estate all the time, it's very daunting and it's very scary. And I don't want you to risk your entire life savings or your entire inheritance on the first deal. So I would really sit down with everybody individually and find out what your goals are. Find out what kind of monthly return you want on it. Find out what kind of cash flow you want on it, how you need to structure it. It's going to be a very individualized basis, but I would also give you a plan so that we could maybe take it in $10,000 chunks or $20,000 chunks and put put it into different, you know, real estate, but put it into different areas. So maybe some in residential, some in commercial, some in industrial, and maybe we put more into one or the other depending on your goals. So that is a question that I, I almost hate because it's not as easy as do I need a real estate license? No, you don't need a license. Just go buy stuff. <laughs> if you and you know, you're usually attached to this money, like you want to make it back. And I'm telling you how you can make all these great returns and all this stuff, but it's really individualized and we really need to have a long heart to heart about it. And then I can probably guide you in the right direction, but I don't have a clear yellow path, <laughs> yeah. you know, like in the wizard of Oz, I don't have that for that kind of question, but I get that a lot. And I know what I would do if I had a, you know, hundred grand, mm -hmm. but I also know my plan. Right. And I know how much risk I'm willing to take on. And there is risk. Um, Victor Jernigan, I quote him a lot that he's the leader of the Knox Rhea, And he says that, you know, real estate investing is the only thing that you can do. The, big, the biggest investment that you can make that can result in generational wealth. But if you do real estate wrong, it can result in generational par poverty also. And that is that is scary, but that's why, you know, my formulas, my scripts, that's why everything comes back into place to make sure that you have double and triple checked and cross-referenced and done everything you can to make sure that you are building generational wealth and not setting yourself up for a big liability. That's not what I want. I want everybody to be millionaires. <laughs> yeah. And it's not a one size fits all kind of situation. It's really not. You know, the lady that I have working on the duplex right now, that is awesome. And that's, that's a great goal. And I, I'm, thrilled that she's starting in multifamilies but the other ladies in the group they aren't comfortable with that you know they want to start with the land and that's cool i started with land then i went to houses then i went to multifamilies i want everybody to start in multifamilies because now i have the 2020 vision that it's so much better but we can start wherever you are in the process if you have a license or if you had a retired license or and then you realized it wasn't making enough money that's fine if you've only dreamed of real estate and you watch all the shows, we can start there too. And I'll tell you that it is so much more fun to do real estate in real life than it is to watch a 30 minute episode on it. Definitely. It's so much more fun to get out and be active. Do you have any other questions for me or anything else that we could cover today? Oh, today, we've already covered so much today. So much information. Um, not off the top of my head. I. I'm excited to get going. I still have some fear, but I think... What's holding you back? I think the more we talk... Um, Ashley's also in my group, okay? So yeah. we're working together. She helps me do a lot of stuff, but she's also a new investor. And so she... And a lot of times I get my topics from what she asked me. She'll <laughs> ask me a question. I'm like, oh yeah, I need to cover that more. Should talk so, about this. Yeah. yeah. So then I do a whole presentation on it inside the group or, you know, for the people in my program, I'll do a whole presentation on it. But it, a lot of people, it's that fear. It is. And I don't know if it's the peer pressure that, you know, your husband says, oh, this will never work. Or, you know, your teacher a long time ago told you to stay away from this. Or, you know, there's some sort of fear that women have. And I guess I just didn't have that fear. Like, I was just going to be successful. And now I'm successful. You're pretty fearless. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I, I just didn't feel that. And I even had a boyfriend at the time, my husband now. And he, you know, gave me that thing like, oh, no, you'll never be successful at this. And I was like, oh, yeah, watch me. <laughs> Nice. So I had the opposite kind of motivation. I wasn't fearful. I was determined right out of the bat. And uh, But I speak to a lot of ladies who are fearful. And I did have some anxieties and some stuff when I was getting started. And I, I have some, again, strategies to help you get over that. To help you, you know, whether it's just the way you talk to yourself, the way you present yourself. And I'll tell you, this is the dumbest thing that worked so well for me. 
I used to wear this badge. It was this bright yellow circle badge, and it said, I buy houses. And it was a magnet, so I could put it on pretty dresses. I could put it on my jacket. I could put it on anything. It was hideous. My mom hated it because, you know, she's still buying me pretty stuff at that point. And, you know, now I can buy it, but she still sponsors me at Lily sometimes, and I like that. But, you know, and my boyfriend and husband, we'd be on trips. I mean, we drove up to the Dragon one day. We weren't going to see anybody, but I wore my badge that said, I buy houses. And I guess it's kind of that... It's, it's not a complex, but it made me feel important. It made me feel like I had a purpose. It, and now I have shirts that say Whitney Buys Houses. And when I wear my Whitney Buys Houses shirts, I just feel stronger. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you can go get a badge. I got it made at Office Depot or Office Max or whatever it is. And it just said, I buy houses. And I have pictures of that badge. And now I think, oh, my gosh, what was I doing? But it hey. works. And if that's what helps you overcome that fear, go for it. So you're listening to All Real Estate all the time with Whitney Nicely. And don't forget to call my mama, 865-933-0225 with Walker's Truck Contractors. Bye, y'all.